Внимание! Before we start, I just want to announce a couple of things. Number one, Kamashi is selling his account, one of the top accounts at the moment, so if you're interested or know someone interested, just message me on Facebook or Discord. Number two, since I'm making a series with this Overlord Rayquaza, I created a playlist so that you guys can find all the episodes easily from now on. Number three, since playing more than one account is almost impossible for me right now, I just want to thank Balu, aka JRM, that has been helping me doing dailies on Danny V2 account. And number four, I would like to you guys to comment on what videos would you guys like to see? I was like, I know, I even have some videos that I still need to do, including some of the videos that people might think that I forgot, but I didn't, don't worry. But since I've been busier than usual, maybe there's some ideas that you guys have that it would be like easy for me to make videos about. Just leave a comment with your ideas and let's get into the video. Hey everyone and welcome to the Overlord Rayquaza series episode 2. So, in the first episode I did ask you guys if you guys would like me to continue this kind of series where I basically just upgrade a Pokemon or in this case actually a team and you guys can see me through the process of upgrading the Pokemon, what I like to focus on, etc. So, in this episode today we will be taking a look at two things. Firstly, we will be taking a look at at the fusion level and secondly we will be taking a look at the Rayquaza gear I have like a thunder gear that I need to get right now I do have a pendant and I do have a thunder boot that I got in like uh, in the past so today we are finally getting the thunder uh, cloth the, th the thunder thing in the middle <laughs> thunder thing in the middle seems like a, a really nice name right so first of all, let's start with some details over here on the Rayquaza that I can find it, some information that can be useful for some of your Pokemons. One of the things is with this ability. In the previous episode, I did mention that Moonblast would not be uh, a bad thing because I was running out of uh, ability cards, so I just had to select something uh, that would uh, probably fit my Pokemon. And I would agree that Moonblast is still not a bad idea, it's still not a bad um, ability, but that would be for, let's say, like a higher power. A higher power where the shields are not as important. What this means, like, for example, in this combo over here, or if you are playing with the Regigigas, or uh, basically, if you are moving first, the f if and having this ability over here, the first thing that happens is that you will lose your Guardian Soul. If I'm making my, my Latias move and give us a, uh, a shield to, to Rayquaza, or a, a Guardian Soul in this case, my Rayquaza will attack, and because of losing HP, it will lose the Guardian Soul. So, since I did not like uh, to have that, let's j go and test it out, see if we can get a better ability. So, the abilities that we have available over here that I would like. So this one can be like just because it could be better than than losing actually the, the HP. So actually losing the shield would be nice. Restriction damage, not sure if that's uh, like something that is needed since uh, Rayquaza being a dragon type, flying a type, uh, not sh it depends if you're playing against uh, actually enemies on the arena that you would do more restriction damage. But this one can be nice to become a little bit more tanky, tanking, taking less restriction damage on your ray. On dodge and hit plus 12%, that can be nice as well, but the thing that we are aiming for is the sniper with that crit damage. So, let's try to aim for the sniper. Of course, sniper purple, not blue, and uh, see if we can get it. If we can't, we try to stay with an ability that would not just uh, be, be bad for us, you know? So first using the smaller cards that we don't care much about, trying to be lucky enough to get a decent purple. And if we are not lucky enough, we will jump to the better cards. So we were not lucky over here. Let's jump to the better cards then over here using epic cards. Oh no. We hope we don't get this on the last uh, last turn, like last chance getting a moon blast would not be okay, would not be good. For, I'm only getting blues with the better cards. What? Please a purple? Ah. 
Okay, we will just keep it this way with Sniper 2 dealing that crit damage. It's okay. Even though we lost a little bit of power because of not being a purple ability, it's okay. We want to focus on what it's better for us and sometimes it's better to go for what it's better for us instead of just power. Okay, let's just go over here really quick as well to the bag and open some stuff that I had over here. See if we can get finally get a ribbon. Did we get a ribbon? I don't think we did. Yeah, we did not. There's no ribbon. Ribbons are really hard to get. So finally, the next thing, let's go over here to the fusion, level up the fusion to the max fusion possible and check out some of this logic over here. There you go, my game lags when I, once I'm getting power. <laughs> That's really normal. We got around, what, 38k power. And now we unlocked the new um, the new fusion uh, things over here. <laughs> the, the new fusion abilities. So these abilities will just improve your game experience and your Pokemon by a lot inside the battle. Over here on the first one, uh, I usually like to go for this one because if this one is correct, it's giving you a bad description and should give you uh, attack and special attack instead of defenses. And we can actually test it out before activating it. So for example, we can just go, come over here and I'll teach you guys a, a quick little trick for those who don't know about... Okay, we need to find somebody that is active. So we, we are going against Nico93 and we are going to screenshot the stats. And I want you guys to press the stats as soon as the battle opens. As soon as the battle opens, as soon as you see your Pokemon, you instantly click on your Pokemon to collect the stats. This is because, you know, Bugland Legends, sometimes we have stuff going on that is not good for us, <laughs> that we cannot see our stats properly, because now if I click again on my stats, you guys can see that we have a, a little bit of a different stats over here. And I'm even going to screenshot and compare that the HP remains the same, the physical attack remains the same, only the speed is changing. Against this person is not a big of a problem uh, to taking screenshots of the stats. Uh, that extra speed might be because of my speed boost, but against other players that have more developed accounts, they have costumes, they have things that might reduce your stats, they have things that uh, like resonances that might change your stats in battle and the stats that are displayed are usually not the best thing so that's why i'm giving you this tip that the, as soon as the battle loads you guys press your pokemon screenshots the stats it's the best way you guys can uh, like take a look at the stats if you guys are testing something yourselves so let's go over here and select this one over here and select okay and unlock the ability keeping in mind that if you want to change anything over here you can always change at any time that you want you can just come over here and click save okay but we are going to do that and now after this it's when we let me just oh i already did and now we go again into battle against nico and we are going to check our stats if everything is working properly, those uh, those defenses are not actual defenses, are actually attack and special attack. And we screenshot our stats like that and we just po post them over here and we can see. So as you can see, around a 3k speed difference and you can also see the special attack going up by a very big amount. So um, as you can see, more than proven that those descriptions are wrong. It's giving you a speed, speed and special attack and physical attack instead of giving you defenses. But some of you, some of you might be wondering one thing, which is, but any, isn't the 15% special attack better? No, it is not. Because usually this 15% special attack is something that it's going to apply to your base special attack. And uh, sometimes those kinds of percentages that are applying to your base special attack, it's not actually 15% that you are getting. So if you, if I select this one, I will actually get less special attack than this one that is applying the stats in battle. So that's what we want to go for. So let's just uh, continue and unlock the, the remaining things. How can I go back to the, oh, okay, I just have to click over there. On the second one, 
following the same logic we want probably this one increasing the defenses in battle it's okay sorry for the lag sorry sorry for the lag on this number three we actually want more in battle crit in battle crit will scale very nicely later with our sniper ability since sniper ability giving you more crit damage so basically that's the logic of things and on the ability number four do we have enough no we do not have enough on the ability number four we'd have to stay for another episode but so far so good let's actually check in battle after those changes and see i mean we the only thing that we got now was uh defenses right and we can actually go and see how much defenses we got in battle just to take a look and compare and how much are we actually improving inside of battle because that's where matter where it matters right sometimes people don't seem like they they are strong they don't seem like they have enough power but uh that actually can be a different thing as you can see around 30k of physical defense and i would say like around 36k of special defense or 35k so very nice over here very nice numbers in battle which it was a crazy crazy buff a crazy boost so let's keep on it and now finally to the mr gear over here we want to improve our gear and for that we want to get a thunder set so let's remove all of that and let's start equipping our thunder set and now we need to get the last piece right now on the event at the time that i'm recording this there is actually an event going on of gear let's just go all the way all the way down oh and okay let's start going up now and now we have as you can see we need the thunder heart because we already have one boot and we already have one thunder eye so we want the thunder heart for the thunder heart we we are not going to spend the uni shards we are going to spend actually the books directly so here goes nothing i did save books exactly just for this occasion it's not that i recommend lower powers like people who cannot afford much in the game i don't really recommend like getting a full set like if you don't have a single piece i would not recommend getting any of this because not having a single piece this would be like a crazy investment just to get a new gear and with that crazy investment you could get a resonance that without gear would probably be better this is just like my suggestion for the people who don't spend as much in the game but since i only needed one gear and i basically i'm just doing this on my secondary account to follow up with the series we are getting this thunder set and we are going to start refining it so first of all that let's actually do exactly that first of all let's start refining the thunder set as you guys can see i have a sneaky <laughs> dialga over there but that dialga is only being used for one purpose okay Th that is the bugged dialga that a lot of people have and of course i have billions of of those he's only being used for one purpose and Timothy 10 which basically echo power that might give me more damage I, actually let me I, as you guys can see i don't even <laughs> level up this thing <laughs> echo power basically just for more damage in uh war boss or our team boss etc just for testing purposes okay let's go back to the rayquaza back to our gear and let's start with refining the gear while it's still diamond burning time so let's start over here with the boots actually on the boots what i want to usually want to aim for since over here we only have two one percentage we are guaranteed to get percentage speed on the first stat so my goal is to get a decent uh, percentage speed on the third stat and finally work our our way up here of course there's also the the, the thing that later in the um, Later in our series, I will want to upgrade this uh, gear into Cinnabar. But let me just check out something really quick. Uh, here, for example, I still need to farm a lot 
of those cinnabar materials so that will come up later and i since i will be playing still for a, a decently long time over here with the thunder set i don't mind spending some diamonds right now on refining the the thunder set right now but of course if you are almost ready to finally get a, like for, for example imagine that you get a thunder cinnabar a thunder set right now and or a ho-ho set i usually recommend ho-ho set the only reason i didn't go for a ho-ho set is because i did not have ho-ho set pieces i do do i have a single one i have a ho-ho heart so i would need two more pieces and i did not really want to go for two more pieces because as i said it's very expensive but but anyways what i was going to say is like if you are almost ready to get a cinnabar gear don't waste your diamonds uh refining the base gear without being cinnabar because later you will just have to refine again once it gets to cinnabar but anyways, that is for another video. Let's try and actually get some uh, some stats over here. Some decently good stuff. As I was saying, my goal is to get a good percentage of speed over here on the third stat. 9.9%. I believe we can get better. 10.3! We can get better! Come on, come on. Give me something. Give me something good. I believe 10.3 is already damn nice. For what I want. Since I later don't want to... Since I later want to cinnabar it, I don't need to make this uh, piece perfect, you know? So, actually, I'll just give like three more tries. 10.4, okay, no, I'm sold. 10.4, it's whatever. We lock the speed, and actually we want to try to get better stats on the others. I want to try to aim for something like speed as well on the other stats, even though this one, this refine right now, um, honestly, this refine right now is already damn nice. We we don't need to waste way too much uh, diamonds over here since we already have like such a high percentage of speed. We have special attack over here and a little bit of special defense. If I wanted to be perfectionist, this should this should need to be speed mostly. Uh, this is like of course I just want the speed, but for today we are not going to spend too many diamonds over here and we can keep that. Let's go and move on to the Thunder Heart. Over here, the stats can go up to 16%, 16.6 to be exact. So my goal is to get one high stat over here on the first, on the second or the third one, because the first one only has one stat. So let's try and get something decent going on over here. If I get something like high close to, I don't know, close to 16 or something, I will just lock it and we will try to work our way from there. Ooh, we got physical defense at 16.1. I might want to lock this, and this is very tempting to keep because I have special defense flat and I have 150 speed. I'm not sure what I want to lock the most. Do I want to lock the speed or the physical defense? This is such a hard thing to decide, but I, pr I honestly think I will go for the speed and try to get enough. Okay, okay, I am sold. I got actually very lucky on this refine. Percentage is special defense, a little bit less physical defense, but a little bit more HP. And I got my 150 speed. So I'm going to just come over here, new attributes. I am sold, I'm going to keep this thing. And now let's finally go to the Thunder Eye. On the Thunder Eye, we already have this. And oh boy, I forgot that I have done this. So in the past, since this was a pre-refined uh, <laughs> thunder, it's a pre-refined pendant, I ha had special attack on the second stat. I, right now, I do not have any video about it. Um, but it's something that I can talk about in the future because it, re it would require more time to talk about. But basically, special attack on the second stat. And what we have to do now it's actually refine and try to get better special attacks on the other stats now. Now basically we just lock that special attack since it's impossible to obtain. It had to be refined from a previous uh, gear. And now we just try to get special attack on the others and hopefully a good stat on the last one as well. And 
And okay, I will honestly just stick with this, just for the, the only reason that uh, later I... I honestly want to try to go better, but I feel like I will spend way too much diamonds trying to get something better. And as I said, later uh, I will just want to put this thing into Cinnabar anyways, so I don't want to waste way too much diamonds over here. I'm basically just doing it as we speak to because it's an addiction. Ends up being an addiction trying to refine to get something better. But um, I would not advise, like, the moment you guys see, get something kind of balanced like that, I would advise you guys to stop and start saving up some diamonds, okay? I'm just doing it for the content at this point. <laughs> like, I'm being the most unlucky person in the world. And I think I will stop. <laughs> I will stop. We got, like, a, a very high special deck on the first one. Uh... A not so high special attack on the third, but we got also special attack on the last, so it's not as bad. Am I actually going to stop? This is an addiction, I swear. This is a freaking addiction. Oh my god, this is horrible. I'm not gonna stop, am I? I just want to try one more. The moment we get one percentage special attack on the first and the third, and if it's a bad one, just like this. If it's a bad one, holy, uh, we give up. We give up completely. So you guys follow my tip, my initial tip, okay? Which is if you get a decent stats and you know that this is hard to get, just like this one, uh, you guys stop for the sake of your diamonds, okay? <laughs> don't don't be like me because this ends up being an addiction and now we already have Around the same power that we started with right? No, we don't What uh, what was the I don't even remember what was the power that we started? I, I know it was six point something six point seven million something like that We dropped to six point five because of the ability so now it's time to fortify the accessory. I'm not gonna gonna bother you guys with the fortifying the accessory. Fortifying is a long process. I'm just going to speed up the video. Uh, if you guys want to know how to fortify the accessory, there's a link in the description with a video that I've made on how to fortify accessories. So please do check that out instead. Honestly, I mean, I don't like the special defense at all. It's kind of triggering me. So I'm going to give a couple more tries over here and maybe get some speed. If I fail, I fail. If I don't fail, I I'll be happy. Finally, after a couple of tries, I did get some decently good refine over here with almost max special attack of re and a really damn nice speed so I'm going to keep this one for sure so now finally after refining and fortifying for a couple of <laughs> for a little while I did three blues and three greens at plus 100 so we will just use them over here I'll start with a blue over here, see if it crits, doesn't crit. Okay, so then I'll just put another green. There's no actual reason of me doing this. It's just that actually uh, I just felt like doing it this way. Getting a blue, hopefully it crits, because I do believe that the blue, if it crits, it crits for higher. But apparently I'm just being unlucky. So let's grab the green now. No crits over here. All good. Let's grab the boots. Let's grab the thunder boots now. And now let's put the blue. And there's no crit on over here. And let's put the green. And there's a little bit of a crit over here. It's still not enough. Still not enough. But let's see how much power is our Rayquaza so far with this refines 6.5 million still with the still the gear not fully refined so let's just continue well we are finally done we have a level 78 uh green piece like around level 70 should be fine but i i did not have enough for level 70 so and now since these ones over here don't require much exp we can just throw one over here and uh on the other one as well 
and we are good to go something like that okay requires one more okay uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry sir there you go take it take it all from me go away okay and now we finally have our level 100 thunder set so our complete thunder set over here and let's check it out what is the difference in battle so loading a battle still going against nico and let's check and hold those stats over here and let's just go oh, not this one let's just go over here to the excel and check what is our stat difference so i did refine the gear a little bit better so our physical attack actually for some reason is exactly the same of course it is exactly the same why would it not be but our physical attack is exactly the same since the gear does not have any uh, physical attack investments. But for example, the speed, we can see like we got a, a decent increase in the speed so because of the thunder set as well. And also since the stats were, were refined a little bit better, we got more special attack. We only lost a little bit of special defense, but that is okay. And honestly, now let's go and do a test run on the arena finally and get up some ranks over there and yeah just enjoy somehow i woke up out in beverly fucked up smelling like that bourbon i'm not start yeah the girls and polite in the club every night that's how it goes when you hollywood perfect hollywood perfect Out in Beverly, fucked up, smelling like that bourbon. I'm not start. Yeah, the girls and polite in the club every night. That's how it goes when you Hollywood perfect. Well, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. As you guys could see, I'm not just here showing you guys the pretty stuff. I showed you guys all the battles, the wins and losses so that you guys can also understand the development of the account. If later we are able to beat those uh, trainers that we played against today, it will be a good investment and you guys can just see the progress. There's of, of course there are many things that are still missing like hidden skills, wish stars, there's a lot of things that we can still develop on the Pokemon, can still develop on the account itself uh, and yeah I still hope you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff and I'll see you guys next time.